Sir John Sorrell, welcome to the University of Huddersfield. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank An you. absolutely great pleasure. Did you enjoy your ceremony? You uh, received your honorary, uh, your honorary doctor just now. Or what? I enjoyed the ceremony enormously. It was uh, well. It's a great honour to receive this, this honorary degree, uh, especially as I said. Um, uh, I didn't go to university, so it's very nice to get a degree. Thank you, Huddersfield, for that. <laughs> and it was brilliant, impeccably done, beautifully organised. Um, a great feeling of joy in the air, which, of course, is what it's all about today. Creativity um, and the creative industries uh, is, uh, uh, obviously, your whole life. It's been a, a passion mm. uh, for you. Do you... Does it bother you that uh, a lot of people in the country take creativity for granted? They don't see it at all. Well, two things. First of all, I started off uh, as a 14-year-old kid going to Saturday morning classes at my local art school. And uh, I didn't really think about the word creativity very much then. And indeed, it only became, the creative industries only became a reality in this country in 1998, not very long ago. And until then, things were a bit fragmented, but in 1998, the government did a mapping exercise to look at the width and breadth of our creative industries sector. Um, gave it, in fact, gave it its name then and realized how valuable it was to the economy. So it's really a comparatively short time that we've had that sector as a recognized um, important provider of wealth to the economy jobs for people, very, very important to growth. Uh, and perhaps it isn't surprising that a lot of people are still finding it quite difficult to understand what the creative industries sector is. And of course, people have always been a bit suspicious about the word creativity because uh, if you don't think about it properly, it can mean sort of ephemeral things that, you know, come here today, gone tomorrow. Um, but of course anyone who really thinks about it knows that everybody's creative but people use their creativity in different ways and without creativity we wouldn't have anything because we'd never we'd never uh, create anything um, and if you look at the definition of creativity which means um, giving rise to um, bringing into existence um, using your imagination. It's actually a rather beautiful description and everybody I think would want their children to create new things, use their imagination. And I, I've actually got a campaign going at the moment uh, because whilst I completely agree with the notion that everyone needs to be literate and numerate, so the drive for numeracy and literacy in schools I completely agree with, but I'd like to add another word and that's creativity because I think everybody in this country should have the opportunity to be creative, literate and numerate. I put those three things together. And um, uh, in education, everyone loves their acronyms, don't they? So if you take creativity, literacy and numeracy, it's quite good because it's a C-L-A-N. Um, and, and do you think that's missing in, uh, from schools at the moment, from the uh, education, uh, perhaps at... Uh, um, well, at all levels, really. Uh, well, in schools, I think that the... Um, I, I mean, I, I have a huge respect for teachers. They're my sort of heroes in, in society. I think teachers do such a tough job. And when I meet passionate, brilliant teachers, you know, they're the best people you can meet. Um, I think that th th there is not necessarily as full a recognition of the importance of creativity in education as I would like to see. Uh, and I don't just mean creativity in terms of the cultural subjects like art, design, music, uh, drama and so on. I mean creativity across every subject. You know, science is a creative subject. Of course it is. Uh, but we tend to uh, put things in silos. So if you do art, you can't do science. This is nonsense. You know, if you do um, maths, you can't do drama. It's, it's completely crazy to have a rounded personality and to have a very a fully enriched life you actually need to 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 have all of these things to study all of them and to have the opportunity to then choose at the right moment which particular path you want to go on 
So I think creativity actually, of course, starts as soon as the child is born. Um, and some of the most creative people in the world have, uh, have heard music well before they were born. Of course, um, you know, the parents who can take their children to go to museums and galleries very early on in their life will enrich those children's lives, um, even if they're not terribly academically educated themselves. And of course, it's completely and absolutely right for schools to try and make the kids in their schools as creative as they can possibly be, no matter what they do in their lives. And uh, you were talking about your campaign uh, to introduce uh, creativity uh, into the curriculum, so to speak. Um, where are you taking that campaign? Uh, to the government? To uh, uh, Well, th it's schools? a campaign that runs all the time, but there's, there's quite a few people now who are basically saying we need to, uh, if you like, raise the word creativity in the way it's used in education, put it alongside literacy and numeracy as an attribute that everyone needs to have to succeed in life and then make sure that schools recognise that the teaching of the cultural subjects like art and design and drama and music and, and so on uh, are recognised as being extremely important in schools and they shouldn't be devalued, they shouldn't be thought of as insignificant things, of course they are vital to all our lives. Very few of us will become actors or dancers or indeed designers, a small percentage of people become designers and architects. But for people to actually understand those things enriches their lives no matter what they do. And for those people whose destiny it is to go on and become you know, a Norman Foster or a Zaha Hadid or a Johnny Ive running Apple now in New York, um, or, a, or a great actor like Patrick Stewart who we saw today, um, that's great if, if it's their destiny to go and do that. But for everybody, Creativity will enrich their lives, no matter what they do. I can't really say it more firmly than that. The University of Huddersfield, inspiring tomorrow's professionals.